Myanmar's shadow government has formed a people's defense force to protect supporters from the military. And more now from an expert for a closer look on that story. Dr. Min Zo U is executive director of the Myanmar Institute for Peace and Security. Thanks for joining us. Uh, firstly, the crisis just took another turn with the shadow government formation of a defense force. What do you make of it? Well, that is the uh, force, the, uh, the parallel government, national, national unity government, attempted to establish because it was not capable of forming what they claimed to be the uh, Federal Union Army. That was a collection of uh, ethnic armed groups fighting against the regime. But it turned out that uh, those armed groups are reluctant to join in hands in a military formation uh, to fight against uh, the, the hunter, uh, hand in hand with the, uh, the, uh, this parallel government. So as a, uh, as a step, uh, the national unity government formed this uh, civil defense force, uh, but on the ground, is still uh, unclear uh, what was the structure, what was the change of command, how the weapons are going to be procured, how it will be supported, and how it, what is the strategy is. And so there are a lot of still ambiguities uh, at this point. All of those ambiguities notwithstanding, are, are you concerned at all about a possible escalation of violence by the military? Uh, yes, yeah, we do see violence from both sides right now. Uh, for example, like uh, in major cities, uh, there are low intensity violence, especially bombings, almost every day uh, uh, since uh, last week. And also we do see uh, the targeted killings and threats against uh, those uh, civil servants who uh, ask other civil servants members to return to work. And also, the regime's crackdown has been intensified. Uh, there have been uh, a number of activists and uh, anti hunter uh, resistant uh, fighters. They were picked up uh, almost every day. And we do see the uh, stories of people being uh, uh, tortured uh, during the interrogation as well. So we do see the search of violence for both sides of the conflict. Now, the shadow government says that the new force is a precursor uh, to the Federal Union Army, which you mentioned. Uh, what would that indicate? Could, we, uh, could that in itself also escalate sort of violence? Well, the, the, the Federal Union Army will be the collection of uh, uh, ethnic armed groups which are fighting the regime. But so far, none of the ethnic armed groups uh, have declared that they will be part of the Federal Union Army. So we do see the search of fightings between the Tamador and the groups like the uh, Korean National Union and uh, Kachin uh, Independence Army. But none of the armed groups have so far declared that uh, they will fight the, uh, the military government uh, in open warfare. Uh, so the groups are still... Uh, hesitant because a lot of groups are still maintaining ceasefire uh, with the uh, this current uh, uh, the, the the regime. Uh, so the, unless the all groups or at least the major groups uh, decide to join the fight uh, with the uh, national unity government uh, against the regime, uh, the uh, the escalation of violence uh, will still be limited. But there's still a potential uh, for the escalation. Thank you very much, Dr. Min Zhou Wu, the Executive Director of the Myanmar Institute for Peace and Security.